Now one decision that everyone needs to make when you are keeping a saltwater aquarium is whether to have live rock. So live rock is the base or the skeleton in which you end up putting your live corals on top. If you're going to have a reef tank, if it's going to be a fish only tank like a fowler tank, then you put the live rock and you don't put the corals on top. And the live rock is not only the most natural decoration that you can have in the aquarium, but it provides a good structure for the coral for the fish to swim around and the corals to be on because it's really important that the fish do have little hidey holes and caves where they can hide because when a fish is stressed if they can get away from their stress and hide it will lower their stress level and make the fish overall less stressed and happier that's why tank with backgrounds tend to have less stressed fish than tanks that are double-sided because there's more exposure so why would you choose live rock? I think live rock is the best. I'm very biased towards live rock because it's the real thing. I would not have nothing in the tank because if you don't have anything in the tank, then not only can you um, stagger your corals and get your corals up close to the light, but then there's nothing for the fish to hide in. And fish are definitely much less stressed in an environment with good cover. Now, the disadvantage of live rock is that you do have to cycle it at the start. So when you get your live rock, you put it in the tank and it does have to adjust to your aquarium. So it will produce ammonias, nitrites and various things at the start. So if you're going to add live rock to an established tank, you only put a little bit in at a time. If you're going to put a new batch of live rock in the aquarium, you do need to give the tank a few weeks just to let the tank cycle and let the, the live rock cure or mature. Now another disadvantage of live rock is um, possible pests. So it is true that you can get various bristle worms, manis shrimp and other things that can be a nuisance in your aquarium. I don't tend to have much problem with it at all because I use hydrogen peroxide. What I'll do is get a piece of rock, dip it in a bath of salt water and hydrogen peroxide any little shrimp or issues on the live rock will panic and jump out of the live rock and die in the hydrogen peroxide. Um, so that's not a bad idea. The rock can also be quarantined. That gives you an opportunity to see if there's aptasia or um, man of shrimp or whatever else you might be upset about. There are also fake live rocks available which are marketed to be a alternative to live rock. I would really only go for that if I couldn't get the real thing. If I can get the real thing, I just think there's no substitute for the real thing. Some people like the um, fake rock because the shape's cool and because it's a cool color. But the color of the rock is actually irrelevant because the live rock will go through a few different color phases and then once you get algae and stuff on the fake live rock, it just ends up in the long run the same color as the live rock anyway. Because when you first put the live rock in the tank, it will be whatever it is. And sometimes it will go gray. Then sometimes it will go brown. Then it will go green. Then it will go red slimy. And then if you're controlling your nutrients, it should go a beautiful coralline purple. Which looks absolutely spectacular. But the color of your rock as the rock grows with coralline algae should be a beautiful purple color and that's if your water quality was good last month the color of your rock is basically a reference or a reflection of what the water quality was like last month in your tank if your water quality was good last month your color on your rock is probably going to be good if your water quality was bad last month the color of your rock is probably going to be bad if you've got high silicates in your water it's probably going to be brown if it's got high phosphate in the water, it's probably going to be green. The colour of the rock will change to reflect the water quality. And the water quality will be noted on, or, a, a, or the rock will be an example of your water quality last month. So you improve your, your water quality this month, you might start seeing some improvements next month. And then after a number of months, you'll start growing the beautiful coralline algae. And your tank will be wonderful with healthy growing live rock so why would you have live rock i reckon why wouldn't you have live rock i love live rock anyway if you've got any um 
comments then make sure that you put a little comment at the bottom are you a live rock lover do you hate live rock for any reason um, but the multitude of microorganisms and bacteria that come in on the live rock really are the worms in the compost heap and really are what keeping an aquarium is all about, I reckon.